How's it going, everybody? And welcome back once again to the Algol Star System and Fantasy Star 2. So, since last episode, as you can see, my level has increased quite a bit. I spent some time doing some level and money grinding. And as such, we are now much better equipped for our next trial, which is going to be Nido Tower. Now, really quick, since I realized something might have been confusing, I've been mentioning the uh, story of Darum and Tiam. And I know you have, you know, seen the references and the talk about them. But we've not actually seen Darum yet, and that's because I haven't gone to where he is. Now, Nay's damage, even after all the leveling, is about the same. But you will see Rolf and Rudo have increased dramatically as they now are each wielding two ceramic knives, which cost 2,600 apiece. So I grinded out a little over 10,000 Meseta in order to equip them with these things. And you can see the result is pretty fantastic. Now, unfortunately, we can't get new weapons for Nay until we get to the next town. But going back to Darum, Darum is over here. That's Darum. I've seen that face. He tried to kill Nay seven months ago. This is bad news. Let's go back for a while. So basically, part of the reason why we're trying to take care of the whole issue between Darum and Tiam is because Darum has basically set up shop in that tunnel. And in order to try to raise the money he needs for the ransom on Tiam, he is accosting everybody that goes through that tunnel and robbing them killing them if they won't give him their money, and taking it anyway. It's a very sad story of a father and what he's willing to do in order to rescue his daughter. Or not more of a matter of what he's forced to become in order to rescue his daughter. So to get to Nido Tower, oh, went north too soon. We go past Shure. And then head south. We will arrive at the Tower of Nido. Biosystems Lab is located just past the town that is on the other side of the tunnel that Darum is in. We got a spinner and a pair of amaranths. You'll find these go down significantly easier now. Not that they're not still threats. And in fact, we will fight those as a mainstay creature in the Tower of Nido. there. Got a quartet of waspies. You remember that these guys proved a uh, kind of time-consuming fight in earlier playthroughs. But with the new weapons, we can pretty much tear right through them. Now, one thing I still haven't done is armor, because quite honestly, most of what we can purchase for armor right now is about the same as what we've got on, and there's just really no point. So here we are at Nido Tower. We need to blow the door. And we're in. Now, Nido Tower is three floors as opposed to... Oops, new monster, totem. As opposed to the four floors of Shure, 
but it is each floor is significantly longer. Larger. The layout of the tower can actually be quite confusing. And it is full with some of the toughest monsters we have obviously fought yet. Spit kills obviously put your memory to sleep. And that little entryway there is actually where I did a lot of my level grinding. Now the goal here is basically strictly get in, get out. There aren't really any treasures in here that are really worthwhile to picking up. There is a Trimate in here, which is a very powerful healing item that could be kind of worth it, but not really worth it. I mean, yeah, it's a great, you know, full heal at this point in the game, but it's not something really worth going out of your way for. thing is, is, as long as we're careful, we should have no problem using uh, Rolf's Enos spell in order to teleport us out of here once the tower is clear and our objective of rescuing PM is met. Now, if I remember right, yes. I believe this is the teleport we need up to the second floor. Now from here... It's been so long trying to remember these dungeons. May may not be a huge asset in combat in here. She does decent damage. But she's useful at this point because with 39 TP now, that is equivalent to a good... Oh, 13 healing spells if I remember correctly. Which that will be her true power value in here. You can also see that I've switched up the party order and gotten her into the uh, third slot and Rudo into the second. That gives um, this one. Let me go this way. This does have the typical RPG pattern of if you have the further back in your order somebody is, the less likely they are to take hits. So since she has the least hit points of the party, having her in the back makes sense. In reality, Rudo has the most HP, so he should be the point man. But since Rolf's the hero of the story, I just never feel right putting anybody with Rolf in point. Call me silly for that, but... I think it's here... This feels right.
right, I think she's just north of here. Rudo paralyzed. And that right there is one of the reasons the Amaranth can still be a threat. And that takes care of the Waspies. Yes! I'm on my game. I actually honestly can't believe I remembered that so well. It's actually been a very long time since I've played this game. So level up for Rudo, and there's TM. Rolf hands over letter. TM's hands are shaking. My father has become a killer for my sake. I must stop him. Take me to him. But there are many who hate Darum. His daughter would be an easy target. Rolf puts a veil over TM to hide her identity and takes her to see her father. Okay, let's get out of here. Hinas? We didn't even need to use a heal. That was a good run. And Ryuka. And that takes us back to the main city. We will heal. No. Let's reunite night father and daughter. Reunion. What's TM doing? I'm going to meet my father. Don't go anywhere. Hey girl, give me your money or I'll kill you. I have nothing to give to the likes of you. Why you? Holy... Father... Killing... TM! Oh, what have I done? This is just one of the many tragedies which have come to pass as the world falls into turmoil. Someone must save us. TM, with the veil on, her father didn't recognize her, and slew her, and then took his own life. It really is a tragedy. Well, on that note, we will end this Let's Play here. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, favorite, throw any feedback you might have into the comments below. And next episode, we will continue on to the next town and to the Biohazard Lab, or the Bio tripping over my own tongue. We'll head on forward to get the recorder so that tragedies like this hopefully will never have to happen again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode.